What's up guys, welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today's video is going to be super quick because I've got a 4 hour drive ahead of me and I've got about 2 hours to get this video done. I'm going to use the drift method. Freaking incredible. Ground F-16 for that to get that sunburst. So today I'm going to show you a super quick and easy way to do skin tone correction in Premiere Pro. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I've just had it on the back burner. But I've been getting more questions about it lately and about how I do this type of color grading. And it's a super easy, super quick way to do it. So let's jump into Premiere and get started. All right, so here's the clip that I'm gonna start working with. This is a clip that I just shot in Death Valley and uh, I shot it before sunrise. So you can see we're all shady here and I just had it, everything set to auto because I was in a hurry. So we need to fix this clip. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I've already done some basic adjustments, drop my highlights, increase my shadows just to tweak my dynamic range a little bit, increase my saturation. So that's what the raw clip looked like. And that's what the basic saturation and everything, the basic adjustments look like. So we still need uh, a little bit of work because his skin tones are still looking a little bluish green and not quite natural. So the next thing I wanna do, uh, and it's, it's kind of important to me the way I do it, I do the basic adjustments first, then I go in here to my creative and I add my look. So that's the basic, and then I put in my LUT. Okay, so that's what it looks like before everything and then the basic and then I added my LUT uh, and then I tweaked my LUT the way I wanted it. So after all of that we still have everything else looks good to me uh, but his skin tones need a little bit of help. So that's where we're going to come down in here to HSL secondary and this is where we're going to tweak it. So what we're going to do is select the eyedropper here and I'm going to come up here and pick kind of the best looking uh, spot on his face for uh, color selection right there and then what you can do to refine this is we're going to click on the color gray uh, and there's three different things here that will help us tweak this so I'm going to select uh, <laughs> so I'm going to select color black and that's going to help me see his face so what we can do now is we can slide these whichever way we need to to get the most of his face all right, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's showing me most of his skin tones there, especially the noticeable parts. So once we're happy with that, we're just gonna uncheck this so we know that anything we do now is gonna be affected only in the parts that we've selected. So now I can come down here and I can warm this up a little bit. And I'm gonna add just a pinch of magenta tint to it. And I might just go ahead and bring this up just a hair, just to brighten up the colors that I want there. I don't think it needs any saturation. In fact, it could maybe even use just a pinch less. All right, so now you can come back up here and you can see the before and the after. So that's a big difference. That's before that's after and obviously you can keep tweaking on this and go back and refine it another thing you can do is we can do a little bit of denoising and that will again just affect the areas that we're working with because the more you color grade on a thing on a clip uh, the more noise is introduced artificially so you can bring that up a little bit if you know you're going to be working on something quite heavily and then you can also increase the blur just a little bit you don't go too much on this because it can really do some wonky things but if you increase the blur radius just a little bit it'll help smooth that out especially if you have any leaking colors where it might be similar or uh, really contrasty to where you're editing all right, that was it. Now, like I said, super simple, super easy. And as with anything in color grading, there's a lot of ways to do this and there's a lot of different programs and even within the same program, there's a lot of different ways to do this. But that's my favorite, easiest, fastest way to do it, especially when I'm color grading on the fly or when just something just a little bit is off. That's a great way to fix it. So hopefully this video will help you take your videos and your color grading to the next level. If you have any other questions about anything that I didn't cover concerning 
this type of color correction and you want to know, make sure you leave those in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them and probably even make another video out of it. So if you like stuff like this and you want to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.